Welcome to the Got Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello, everyone. I'm your teacher for this question. Let me explain this question to you now. First, let's read the question together. The question says that translate and solve. Ariana bought a 24 pack of water bottles for a total of nine dollars and thirty six cents, and we are asked to find. What was the cost of one water bottle? So, when we are translating, we are translating it into an equation. And what is essential to this question is that we need to know this formula. So, the total cost of goods. In total units equals to total units of goods times cost per unit. Now you actually have two numbers in this equation. Try to pause the video. And find it by yourself. Okay, let's solve the question together. So now we read the question. What do we have? So first, we have the total cost of goods. So here is total cost of water. Twenty-four bottles. Which is nine dollars and thirty six cents, and we also have the total units of goods, twenty four bottles. Now we need to find the cost per water bottle. First, we can assign a variable to it, so we should assign. C. Well, what letter doesn't matter. But here we use C for cost. Cost per bottle. Okay. Now we have all the three components in this formula. Let's form an equation with all the three components. So we have total cost of water, which is nine dollars and thirty six cents. Equals to twenty four bottles times cost per bottle times cost per bottle, which is C. Now we have the equation. To solve for C, we need to divide both side by twenty four. And with the calculator, we can get C equals to point. Three nine, which is thirty nine cents. So, the cost of one water bottle is thirty nine cents. And when you are solving for a question of cost of goods. Please remember this formula. So total cost of goods in total units equals to total units of good times cost per unit. When you are asking to solve one component in this equation, you need to find the other two components and plug those numbers into this equation, and then solve for the last component. And now we are done with the question. Thank you.